guess who passed her biostats final? Me. That's great. Good job. Good job, me. Let anyways, let's talk about the coolest plant that you've probably never heard of. So the cool plant that I am talking about is called Boquilla trifoliolata, which B trifoliolata, whatever. Anyway, it's cool because these plants here are not actually the same plant. The one with labeled T is a just regular tree and the one labeled V is the Boquilla vine. So they look pretty similar, yeah? So what's happening is the Boquilla is a tropical vine found in South America and it can mimic other plants. So all of these, I promise you, are the same plant. There is the sample of the Boquilla plant and it is mimicking different species. These are all samples of the same plant mimicking other plant species. So yeah, that's it's the same plant. Again, plants labeled V are the vine and T are the host tree. So what happens is that the Boquilla, it finds a host tree and it's not actually a parasite like other plants that do mimicry, like some sorts of mistletoe. They can mimic their host plants, but they're parasitic. These ones are not parasitic, they're just hanging out. So they can mimic a ton of different plant species. I don't know how exactly many, but it, it's a lot. And what's cool about it is nobody really knows how. Like, most um, mimic plants, we kind of know how they work, it's just how it does it. But these ones, they don't even have to be in physical contact with their host plant, they can just be near it. Like, even the same plant, like the same physical one, it's just a plant, it can be mimicking multiple different plants on the same, like, vine. Like, it, ha it can have a bunch of different leaf shapes on the same plant. Again, vine, tree, it, they look pretty much the same. But there are some theories. One theory is that it can sense chemical pheromones off of the host tree. Another is it can do horizontal gene transfer, like bacteria do, in order to share their gene. But one study, they, those kind of fall apart because one study found that it'll even mimic artificial plants, like fake plants, like plastic. So nobody really knows how it works, and it's super cool. But one of the theories that was brought after the e fake plant mimicry was that they can actually see, like visually, like they can form images. So yeah, this is really cool, and I am personally very excited to see if anyone will actually discover how it works because 